That is the best sheep we've ever bred. I intend to buy some sheep. Get a closer look at the type of sheep we're looking at. Jump. Oh, I jumped through it. Took the whole lot with her. Took the whole lot with her. She's still got it. Oh my god. Oh, I could greet. I could greet. I could greet. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. And yes, we are very glad of the CF Moto buggy this morning because. It's a stinking cold day, it's the, well it's not the end of March, it's 20 something of March, so near the end of March. Lambing starts in about 10 days or so. I hope it heats up or at least just dries up a little bit before then, because we're all outside this year. Big day today. I'm planning on spending around £40,000, I think. First though, we've got to do the morning rounds. Let's get going. I left a snacker sitting here yesterday thinking I had enough cake for today, but I don't. I don't like to fill it right up because it's the ground's wet. So I like to just do enough for two days at a time. Thank you. Usually I like to so we just did a straight line today. Usually I like to do my feed out in a kind of circle or a, a U shape so that you don't have to walk, like the girls at the far end now have to walk far too far to ever get down to the fresh stuff. But it's so wet, like it's, it's finding a dry bit. It's just where the girls were today, that straight line was a dry bit, so that, that is why it's a straight line today. Oh, don't break the door. I want to show you potentially the best sheep we've ever bred. In fact, yeah, I think he is the best sheep I've ever bred. Let me pick him out, that's how good he is. It's not that easy to pick out, because these are all obviously bought in sheep. He's a big Texel cross blue faced Lester. He's coming here to find the white face, that's him there. Look at that. That's a tough lamb, born in April. Look up there next to that Texel. So he's in the middle there. Home bred out of one of our own blue faced Lester ewes. It's a crimp in the wool and everything, like he's a beautiful looking sheep. Genuinely, a lamb from April last year. Oh, there's the Frontera, can we get him next to the Frontera? And he's been out working, we just put him to some mule ewes, but that was a mistake, we should have had him on the Cheviots. That is the genetics you want, something that grows that size in 11 months. Bloody incredible. Right. Let's feed them. He's never had, he's never been fed. Sorry boys, I've kept you waiting long enough. It's a miserable morning. Hang on, nobody knocked me over here. I'm trying to hold a camera and nobody knocked me down. Fragile. There he is. Never had a bite of feeding. I mean, I've no doubt he'll, he'll come in and eat because he'll wonder what everyone else is doing. Best sheep we've ever bred, without a doubt. Logie Durnlow Texel, out of one of our own homebred blue face Lester ewes. Which have never been in a, well they've been in a shed for lambing but they don't want to in a shed or anything. There we go, he's in to see what's happening now. Beautiful. Let's get the rest of this feed out before they start fighting. But yeah, yeah, that is the best sheep we've ever bred. Okay, so we've arrived at market, morning round's done. Horrible, miserable day, but we got them done. Great day to be at the market and we're feeling quite nervous. Feel nervous because a couple of reasons, one, I intend to buy some sheep, which is always a kind of mixture of excited, nervous feeling. The other one is I intend to spend more money than I've ever spent before at a market. And we're borrowing the money for everything we buy today. We're borrowing the money, just to be absolutely clear, which is another factor of the nerves. Another couple of things that add to it is buying in lamb sheep is such a risk. You know, they've come up here in a lorry, They've been put round the ring, just extra stress. They're still a month away from lambing, so it's absolutely fine in terms of the legalities of whatever to, to do that. It's just always that little worry that things can go wrong that way. 
the only reason I'm buying these sheep today is because I know where they've came from, I know the type of sheep they are, I know how they're bred, and I like the sheep. I really like the sheep, so... It, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have a price of £150 in my head. That's what I want to pay, no more. And I'm thinking, depending on the price, buy 300 of them. There's 750 in this lot, I want 300. Let's get a look at them. It's crazily quiet here. I mean, let me just, let me sh I'll turn the camera around and show you guys just now. It's probably the quietest I've ever seen United Auctions. The place is spotless. There's just no stock in at all today. Well, of course there is the Inlam ewes we're here to see, but you know, a thousand ewes in a place like United Auctions is nothing. You know, this market, well, God knows what it can hold. 20,000 if it needed to. So, you know, a thousand sheep is just a tiny little corner over there. So we'll go and, we'll go and see them. So here we go, here's the girls here. Get a closer look at the type of sheep we're looking at. All sort of clean cross, a bit of Abermax in them as well, which is an, an innovous breed. Although it's a terminal sire, which is an unusual cross. I suppose just looking for that good fat lamb. Ideally easy lambing. How you doing? Oh, well, we'll see. Just getting out of the rain. A bit of variety. They've been drawn into the lot, so I guess they're drawn by ages. Drawn into their ages here. Real variety in them. Big variety. You see there's some, you know, like, like oh. This girl here is a bit smaller and, and leaner. This girl here is a beast. Yeah, so essentially this is us, more or less. What you see is what you get. Uh, my hopes of a bargain have been dashed considerably. There's a couple of, couple of big names here looking at these yows. Could be an expensive day. 192, Okay, job done. Uh, trembling, trembling because I spent far too much, but let's go and find out what the damage is. Okay, the line will be up on the screen here. Not sure if that is the biggest day we've ever spent, but anyway, or the biggest amount of money we've ever spent in one day, but it came to £33,900. And that is for 184 sheep, average £184 per head, most of them gimmers. You know, you've got to factor in the fact that I'm working on the basis that you cannot lose in sheep. So hopefully that proves to be true. That's a little joke to make me feel better, guys, don't, don't panic. Do you want to look at some farms for sale? Here's a little look at some of, oh, some of the bits you get in Scotland. That's 52 acres for 280,000. There's a farm there, Crane Larich. Two and a half million, 1,500 acres, big hill block. Nice little place near me in Ayrshire. She's feeling it, she's feeling it. Heavy loaded. 
Heavy, heavy loaded. How many have you got on? No, how many you got in total? Oh, in total, 303. A 303. There we go. Mine at the back, ready to rock. How's things anyway? Good. Far good. Farmers in good spirits in general? Seem to be anyway. Aye, aye, aye. Why's that? Price for uh, prime lambs are good just aye, now. Aye, I know, it's good, isn't it? As long as they stop bringing in New Zealand lamb, we'll be fine. Well, hey, I think there's room. I think there's space for us both, to be fair. The demand is so high. A lot of New Zealand fans here, Chris, quite watch what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Happy with the trade today? Oh, it was, it was, I paid a lot more than I wanted to. But is that not always the case? Seems to be. Aye. Get a look at these girls as come out, then we'll get them all recorded. We always love seeing these uh, trailers working. It's a good setup. I mean, it's not as good as the one Andy Weir works for, of course, but. Uh... Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Bit better not say too much. Oh, no, no, we no. like Andy. We're all pals here. Oh, aye. We're all pals here. The, the, the Muri boys run them up this morning and now they're running them back. They, they literally picked them up two, mi two miles from here. But, so they've went to Stirling and come back and now they're two miles from home. At least they'll be used to this kind of fresh air we get here. Come on girls. Welcome home. They're coming off the top deck there. Four decks here. One, two, three, four decks of sheep. It's a fair old lorry. These ones coming away down from the top deck. Come on girls, don't let me stand in the road. I'm in the road, it's alright. I don't know how you manage that in the tight jeans. Oh, come on now! <laughs> That's a job in the past, sir! <laughs> there we go. Good looking girls. Uh, flexible man in his youth. Yeah, in your prime. In your, is that us? That's you. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> there we go, and I'll look at them here. Beautiful. Uh, do you drive in your socks? I do, aye. Uh, keep it tidy. Tidy anyway. Aye, I watched I watch some trucker guys on TikTok now and again, they like a tidy yoke. So, you've got your double bunks for staying away in, and your top locker here. You've got a microwave oven. And this one here, behind all of the junk, you've got a, a coffee machine. The, you've got your night heater for when you're parked up and your night cooler for your what, temperatures, everything's uh, climate control regulated, top of the range information systems. And is uh, Scania the best lorries? For me, yes. I prefer a Scania. Okay. Uh, it's down to is everybody's it, is it, personal opinion. Are lorry drivers like tractor drivers? It's like, yes, I, 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 I absolutely <laughs> love their, theirs is the best yeah, and that's all that's uh, for it. And there's no argu arguments about it, everybody's got their own opinion, so... Uh, aye, tidy display, yep. Yeah. Your right. display on board wear so you know your weights are right and... Oh, yeah. so you never overload it? Never overload it, always below 44 tonne. Aye. You've got to keep it on the right side of the lock. To be fair, you'd be doing well. Could you get 44 tonne of sheep on that? Yeah, you can get 44 tonne of sheep on it. But you're roughly oh. going to be your, your average weight of the lambs and how many heads you're putting in. You can work out what your weights are for how many to put in the trailer. Ah, that's quite handy too. So. There you go, didn't know that. Interesting. Right, some man, I'll watch you pull out of here then. For the Scania fans. Okay, tricky job next because I'm just by myself today. Lizzie's away on other ventures. But we're going to pair up the herd watch. We're linked to our AR. 250 reader I think it is and we are going to go plus for a new job and we're going to movement on and go do new animals movement dates today move from let's say from 
is UA saved on here. Uh, price per animal is 184 average. Okay, now I think we just uh, scan an animal, do we? What happens there? Oh, there we go. Just like that. So we scan away. A nice can of yows, they walk right to the front of the race. Look how easy they load themselves, like I'm just doing this myself, nice and steady. They've been rushed about enough today, stressful day for an in-lamb you this. Good. 51 done. And look at that man, lovely just how they, I just stand there quietly and they just load away. Nice and steady, we'll get there girls. I should really be counting these as I go to make sure I'm scanning them right, I'm starting to doubt myself now and of course if I get to the end and it isn't 184 I'm going to think that I've done something or I've missed out on a sheep somehow. You see a fair bit of variety between them there. Greens are singles, blues are triplets I think. God, only 84 done, still 100 to do. Slow job, let's jump to the end. Okay, so Bit of a disaster. Had a few sheep jump out and break the fence. That's it, I've decided we're selling that wrapper system and buying a, a bigger one for next year. But I'm hoping the sheep go the right way. Oh, I think they might be. Please go the right way. Yeah, I think they are. Are they? I can't actually see from here. They are, right. I think, I think. Let's go get the rest of them. Here they come. Nice sheep though. Just probably, almost, the kind of sheep we're we want to get to. So this has kind of expedited the whole thing. And I don't know if I said it at the start of the thing, but I'd offered 150 pounds for uh, those sheep at home. So farmer did the right thing, shifting them on uh, and taking them to market. Because uh, his average would have been very good today. Good looking yows though, they'll, they'll, they'll do a turn. And uh, as I joke with the boys, you just cannot lose at sheep, so there's nothing to worry about. I hope they're going the right way. A lot for Meg if they're not. They've ran enough today, those girls. Oh god, I think they're through the electric fence already, are they? Did I switch it on? Ah, oh, sugar. I don't think I switched it on. Oh, please, god, no. It's too late at night for this. Oh, it is switched on, but it's, I need to put it to a wildlife setting so it pings more. Maybe jump back. There we go. There we go. Now there's only one on the wrong side. Why is it not pinging hard down there? It's eating through it. I'm going to have to put my hand on it, make sure it's working. Now they're, see, look, they're wrecking it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ignant yows. <sighs> she did jump away from it fast there, so I'm thinking it's hit her. Only one's okay. We can get one to jump back. I think the mistake I've made here is we've done two wires. I'll need to come back with a third wire tomorrow. Because these girls aren't really trained on it. My chivets weren't either right enough, and they did find the two wires. You may be lucky. Hello, Meg. See if she'll jump back. Jump. 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 Oh, I jumped through it. Took the whole lot with her. Took the whole lot with her. She's still got it. Oh my god. Oh, I could greet. I could greet. I could greet. Oh, I could greet. This time of night. It's after six o'clock. Oh my god. I think she snapped it somewhere. I need to go up the road and switch it off. Has she snapped it or she just pinged the corner? I'd better just leaving her. That's what she would have done. Hindsight's a great thing. No, it's definitely snapped somewhere or something's happened. Do we go all the way back at the top and find where it's snapped? Yes we do. Oh no, I'm done my cellar belt here now. Let's go. So mistakes there, should have had three wires on. And should have had it in the wildlife setting so it pings a lot more. Because if the sheep don't know what it is, and it's pinging nice and slow, we can bringe through it before anything else. I think it snapped back up here. Let's turn it off for a minute. I'm not sure how that's ever possible. Oh, what a mess at the reel. The reels came loose somehow. Oh no. Oh. That looks like not what you want to see. At this time of night, I've somehow popped that. Battery died, but I got that detangled. But there is a break somewhere, I think. I take it back, no obvious break. It's obviously just untangled so much. Uh, popped off the reel so much that it's a lot of slack to gather in, so let's just keep reeling.
Okay, let's just reel it in. Oh, I was only two reels away from actually. What a dafty. If I just had two more reels, I'd have seen it goes tight. Panic too soon. So in my life. Right, not too tight because I'm going to wreck it again. Right, hopefully that's it locked in. Is there a way to lock that? Should be locked. Connect these two together. Like so. This one. Like so. Do that. Like so. Let's wander down a bit and see if we get a kick. I deserve it. No doubt when I get home and Lizzie sees the price of the sheep we've bought, I'll get another kick. I deserve it. Right, a little bit of grass. It does give you some duntness, by the way. Oh, oh, I mean, that's just a. Oh, why am I doing it again? Oh, it's a belter. It is a belter. Whew. Right, job done. I do realise. I didn't finish showing you the tags being recorded. There's a reason for that. Basically loads of them jumped out and I just said to hell with it. I need to get bigger pens and I'll record the tags another day when it's not nearly dark. That's the reality of it. So we had a bit of fun there. Got them in, happy with the sheep. Happy with the price I paid. It's borrowed it anyway. It's like it's not actually coming out of my bank immediately so it's like borrowed money. I suppose it always seems easier to spend it when it's like that, doesn't it? Like if you had to actually pay, like people buying a car, if you had to actually pay 25 grand for a car, cash, would you would you buy it? And it's probably more a lesson for us all that we should pay more things cash rather than borrowing, but helps us go on. So here we go. Listen, that's it for this one, folks. Not sure how this video will come together. Thanks for watching as always. Please buy some merch. I've got sheep to pay. Cheers.